Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this uh, video is to discuss the track point on simultaneous linear equation. Okay, so we have three questions here. The first question is um, uh, to solve the simultaneous equation by using elimination method. So this is actually the, like the most basic uh, thing that you need to at least know. So these three questions. So the first one is elimination method. So when we eliminate, we need to make sure that uh, it's either the x will get eliminated or the y will get eliminated right you have two variables so you need to eliminate one of them so that you can solve it okay the problem here is 3x and x if you just add and minus there's no way that you can eliminate 5 and 2 when you just minus there's no way to eliminate so what you need to do is actually to edit the equation so you need to change it to an equal equivalent equation okay but you have now what you do is to make the equation same so for example 3x and x we need to make the x at the second equation to become a 3x okay so so without further ado let's start so equation 1 we have equation 1 then we have equation 2 okay now then this x we have to multiply by 3 so we multiply the entire equation by 3 so we take equation 2 times 3 so we're going to get 3x plus 6y is equals to negative 9 okay so here uh, a lot of people are careless in the multiplying that you forget the 9 you forget to multiply this at the on the right okay so next what do we do is that you have to write in the label um okay maybe we go with 1 my uh no 2a minus 1 all right so we take 2a minus equation 1 right so we copy down 2a on the left hand side so 3x plus 6 so we copy down then we copy down the 1 on uh, and we copy down the left hand side of equation 1 so 3x plus 5y okay plus 6y okay right so this will be equals to now on the right hand side equation 2a first so we get negative 9 on the left uh, on equation 1 on the right hand side also minus negative 7 Okay, so here we open up the bracket, 3x plus 6y. Now, be careful this expansion, right? Negative 3x minus 3x, then we'll get minus 5y. Okay, be careful of this. 9 minus negative 7, you can press your calculator to give you a negative 2. Okay, so um, next one, 3x and minus 3x will cancel. 6y minus 5y, we are left with y. y equals to negative 2. Okay, so it is very, very, very simple. You just need to make the edit and do the question like that. Okay, next, uh, after you find y, you have to look for the x again. So after y, you substitute this answer. Okay, negative 2, uh, okay, into, okay, whichever equation you want, I'm going to put it into equation 2 because it looks the easiest. So we have x plus 2y is equals to negative 3. Okay, so this one over here. Okay negative 2 is the y so i'm just going to put it inside the y so x plus 2 times of negative 2 is equals to negative 3 x minus 4 equals to negative 3 so in order to solve this i need to plus 4 on both sides so here my x will be equals to uh, 1 okay so the final answer okay is x is equals to 1 y is equals to negative 2 Right now, in order to check to see whether are we correct or wrong, right? So let's check and see. Now you can press your calculator to check the mode three one and then two, okay? Or you can just sub in. So let's put into one, okay? So on the left hand side we've got uh three x plus five y, so we got three x is one plus five y is negative two. Just put in there. Uh, press your calculator you should be getting a uh, negative 7 so actually we should correct and this will fit the right hand side okay so this will be correct already okay so you check by substituting the value in okay all right so question one now question two solve the simultaneous equation using substitution method so this is the second method now in order to do the substitution method we are going to choose the easiest uh, variable to isolate so equation one okay we have equation one Okay, and then we have equation 2, right, equation 1, equation 2. Now, uh, which one is easier to eliminate? Now, so actually, we can isolate at y, or we can actually isolate x, the up to you. Okay, so for this uh, question, I'm going to just ups, uh, isolate this uh, x. So I'm just going to keep x here, okay? So from 2, from equation 2, 
right from equation 2 I'm going to keep x on the uh, left hand side so I need to move this 2y to the right right so I have my x is equals to 13 plus 2y because 13 and 2y cannot mix so it's still like that now I call this equation 2a then I need to write down I sub equation 2a into equation 1 okay just sub it in substitute it in so now my x is going to be this right so this is my x so now back into the original equation uh, equation 1 right 5x plus y is equal to 10 now when you substitute the 2 must substitute back into 1 you cannot take the 2 substitute back into 2 because otherwise you get uh, the same thing actually so now we replace the x with this so we put 5 and one big bracket 13 plus 2y then plus y is equals to 10 right so this is how we do the substitution right to replace the x with the entire expression like that okay now then we expand right expand using our okay normal expansion so 5 times 13 65 5 plus 10y and y is equals to 10 okay so on the left hand side we can minus off 55 okay on the right hand side we also minus off 55 to balance off so 10y plus y we got 11y in total then we got our negative 50 oh wait minus 65 and minus 65 right so we'll end up with a negative 55 then 11 times y so we're going to divide by 11 so y is going to be equals to negative 5 okay so with this answer i need to sub this answer y equals to five, negative 5 into equation 2a because it looks the simplest okay so let me put it there so x is equals to 13 plus 2y so just nice the y is my negative 5 so press your calculator x will be equals to 3 so final answer is that x is equals to 3 y equals to negative 5 and you can check by subbing in earlier like like the steps earlier that uh, I showed you just now okay so this is actually simultaneous so you need to know what is the thing called so this method is what we call the simultaneous uh, uh, no, the substitution method the question one is what we call the elimination method so these are two very different methods okay so for substitution it's just to move to one side and substitute in for elimination is you have to make something the same you have to make either x to become 3x or you have to make this 5y and 2y to become 10y to cancel out one of them Okay, so this is question 1, question 2, right, using algebra to solve. Question 3, we are going to use graph to solve. So for graph, very easy. Okay, so they give this graph, x plus y equals to 4, right? So we are going to look for the coordinate first, and then we are need, we need to draw the graph, right? So, so this diagram, they gave us one graph already. Let's draw a second graph of x plus y equals to 4. So the thing is, when x is equals to negative 2 when they give us x is negative 2 right so negative 2 plus y is equals to 4 so y will be equals to 6 right over here okay next one okay same thing when x is equals to 0 x plus y is equals to 4 so y will be equals to 4 okay so it's just sub in and solve okay next one when x is equals to 4 Right, so we got 4 plus y equals to 4. So 4 plus what equals to 4? The what is actually equals to 0. Like that. Okay, so we got 3 values. Then we can proceed to draw uh, coordinate negative 2 and 6 up there. Coordinate 0 and 4. Coordinate 4 and 0 like that. Okay, so what we can do, just draw the line that join all the 3 points now. Because now, so far, I only learn straight line. You see the line crooked, right? is okay you can just uh you can just correct it on the on the spot okay and then not don't forget to label this graph x plus y equals to four okay so it's just like that so two uh, so you just need to plot need to draw the uh, calculate uh draw the graph and plot okay a uh, plot and draw the graph now for this one what you did earlier i think most of you did this table wrongly and you cannot find the appropriate value so that's why like, you're stuck there okay so a very important it is to know how to fill in this table okay now for b hence solve the simultaneous equation hence meaning using part one okay using part a sorry so what do we need to use actually is the in order to solve we're looking for the 
uh, the intersection point over here. So what is the coordinate of the intersection point? The x is 2, the y is 2. Okay. So that is it for this paper. Okay, so once more time, the solution is at the intersection point okay, of the two graphs. Okay, so um, that's all. It's actually very, very easy and straightforward. Um, you just need to put in the effort and to like, really sit down and draw the graph quickly. Right, so take this time to practice drawing the graph and make sure that you can settle it as fast as possible. Okay, so that's all for this video. Uh, hope you have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.